Okay, so today I'm going to do a review over a home skill curriculum that we are going to be using this fall. And there's quite a bit of things I want to cover in this video, but I thought it might be best to start off with where I bought the curriculum first. So the website you are looking at is homeschoolfreebieoftheday.com. And if you're not familiar with them, every day um, and each week they send out an email to all their subscribers with wholesome homeschool freebies. Um, they always send out freebies and then sometimes they'll also send out really awesome deals where you can buy things um, for a fraction of the price. So this is what their page looks like at the moment because they're on a summer break right now. But you can scroll down and you can find things they have for free currently. <coughs> Like right now, you can get this for free. Making the most of your summer break. And it's all digital, so you just right click here. They also have the American Boys Book of Bugs, Butterflies, and Beetles for now. Um, simple drawing lessons. Anyway, it just goes on and on. Um, you gotta go to the older post. Click older post to see more. But they just have tons of stuff. Okay. So. The curriculum I'm going to review is, I bought it at a fraction of the price through homeschoolfreebieoftheday.com, but currently it is no longer on sale. But it is on Amazon now, and this is what I bought, these two here. The, the Girl's Guide to Home Skills. On Amazon, it is $25 right now. And I also bought the Girl's Guide to Home Skills Study Guide Companion. This is for the teacher. And it's also $25. So those two now are $50 total. Um, you might be able to find it cheaper somewhere else. But I bought it a month ago or so for, I don't know, I think like $10 or $15 for both of them. So... Homeschool Freebie of the Day is definitely worth checking out and subscribing to. Um, I've been subscribing with them for, I don't know, seven or eight years now. I've got a ton of stuff from them. They're just a great, wholesome, Christian, old-fashioned education. It is just... You can't say anything bad about it. Okay. So now, I am going to do the review on a girl's guide to home skills for the child. That's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is a girl's guide to home skills. And this is brought to you by the Homemaker's Mentor, mentor which is something else you can get from Homeschool Freebie of the Day. Um, at one time anyway. They may not have it anymore, I don't know. But this I bought as a digital PDF download. And there's a total of 174 pages. And I printed it all out. I thought about spiral binding it like I do most of my stuff from Office Depot. But this has more than I thought it did. Um, it's just, it is it covers the whole house. Um, <laughs> so I kind of wanted to leave it in these plastic page protectors because there are some things where you can make copies of that I thought, you know, instead of my daughter writing on it, um, she could just pull it out, make a copy of what she wanted to write on. And she could also take this, you know, in rooms with her when she cleans and it has this uh, protector to protect the pages so they don't get wet and stuff like that. And I'm kind of thinking that this would be more like a something to put in her hope chest um, for her to have to take into her home and a guide for her to have to teach her children when she gets married. Um, I guess I should start off with saying that most of the stuff in here, you know, I mean, I keep a clean house. My girls know how to clean, things like that. So they had this out. This has been out. I think six years now, and Homeschool Freebie of the Day would always send me, you know, like, hey, it's on sale, and buy this, and 
I was just like, I'm not buying a guide to tell me how to clean. I mean, I know what I'm doing. But all of the reviews, review after review, kept saying how wonderful it is, and even adult women were buying this for themselves. And whenever they offered the teacher part with it, for, I don't know, it's like 10 or $15 for both of them, I'm like, well, I'll just go ahead and get it, and we'll see. And I'm really glad I did. So, um, anyway, it, it's surprising by how much there is in here. Okay, so, and here's a, okay, so, um, this was all put together by a lady named Martha Green, Jan Drexler, and Rebecca Wilson. And every now and then you'll see little, um, quotes or, uh, letters written to the child. So here's a page that is written to all the girls this is for, and it's from Aunt Sophie. Now this Aunt Sophie, I don't know if this is a fictional character or or what, but anyway, she kind of, a person named Aunt Sophie, I guess, kind of guides the girl through all this. So here's the table of contents. So section one says sparkling clean bathrooms. Section 2, Cozy and Inviting kitchen, Kitchens. Section 3, Lovely Living Areas. 4, Provident Pantries. 5, Genuine Hospitality. 6, Comfortable and Tidy Bedrooms. 7, Organized Closets. And 8, Tidy Yards and Porches. So the first one is over bathrooms. And I hope this isn't, I hope there's no glare with these page protectors. So, here, there's a note, you know, it started with bathrooms, so here's a note to the girls from Aunt Sophie, and here's a bathrooms home skill checklist. So, as your daughter, oh, before I go on, they also have one for boys, too. So, uh, it's called a boy's guide to home skills, I believe. But, yeah, they do have one for boys. So, as your daughter learns these tasks, you check them off. And um, you put her name here, and then it says signed by Mother Dear, which would be you. So this was um, copyrighted in 2010, by the way. And over here, there's a couple old, old-fashioned, you know, ads. There's a lot of good reading in here. It's there is more than what I I'll be able to cover or in this video. So. Each section has a um, daily, weekly, monthly, and seasonally uh, cleaning chart. You know, for this, this one's for the bathroom, so things to do to clean the bathroom every day, every week, every month, every season. Over here it has skills for daily cleaning. This page is skills for weekly cleaning. Over here is more skills for weekly cleaning. And this little section down here, it sometimes they'll give little tips. They also give little projects to do to make your house more homey. Um, some of it's old fashioned. Anyway, it's, it's just so cute and adorable. I went through this, I have went through this probably twice now with my oldest and she wants to start it now. She just, this is her thing. Okay, so down here there's a little tip on um, in order to save room, you can like roll your wash rags or towels, which we we roll our wa our towels anyhow for to save room. And over here is more skills for weekly cleaning, how to clean a trash can, replace the bag. Some of this is so simple stuff, but you've got to remember, I believe they wrote this as if the person had no idea at all, at all <laughs> about cleaning. So. It's, it's just really good. Um, cleaning, here's more monthly cleaning, more monthly cleaning, seasonal cleaning, here's a bathroom supply list. Here's a lesson on bathroom cleaners. It talks about soap scum remover, glass cleaner, air freshener, and, and a bunch more. Here's some recipes for homemade cleaners. And some more cleaning tools and supplies. This one says a lick and a promise. Um, kind of tells you you know, what to do, like place fresh towels out, wipe down the toilet seat, spritz the room with an air freshener. Then here's some little projects like ribbon trimmed towels, towel robes for boys. 
And here's an emergency section. Like, what is a girl to do, you know, if the water is running out of out of the toilet bowl and onto the floor? You know, it tells you what to do there. Um, over here, it has a drawing of the inside of a toilet tank, and the parts are labeled. And this page also has more of an emergency, like if the water pipes are leaking. Here's some considering others and Bible memory verses. Personal care. Here's toilet articles, the bathroom, kind of talks about that. And each, <coughs> each section ends with a note with some lined paper that's titled Notes from Mother Dear. So this is where you would write anything to your child. And the next section is Kitchens. And there's a letter to the girl, another checklist signed off by Mother Dear, some more old-fashioned ads, another uh, cleaning chart for daily, weekly, monthly, and seasonally, skills for daily cleaning, washing dishes 101, more about dirty dishes, dishwasher's delight, talks about what is compost, skills for weekly cleaning, talks about cleaning the stove top, the refrigerator, many different things, skills for weekly cleaning and shopping, talks about writing out your menus and shopping list, and throughout the book, especially in the kitchen section, in the pantry section, um, there might be another one, but in those two anyway, they'll give little reproducible printable charts for you to use. So this would be a menu planner. You have two for breakfast, two for lunch, and two for supper. Menu planning, and it says ma uh, manners matter. So here's menus and marketing. And here's another one of those I was telling you about. Um, you can uh, make copies of this and put this in a binder for them for a recipe cookbook. And let me stop here. Um, I will go over the teachers or the parents study guide, you know, helper in just a little bit too when I'm done with this. So I'll show you through that. But I do want to kind of skip to that ahead just a little bit and say that in the teacher's guide, it's just called a study guide helper, but in that part, the first section the first section I just loved to read. It was just really sweet and really nice. It it like prepared you, the parent, for presenting this to your child. Um, it said it said like take just you and your daughter that's gonna be doing this, make it a special day, like have a little tea party or a little picnic with her. Um, it says buy an apron that she would like or make an a or make an apron that she would like. And it also tells you to get a three ring binder get some of these recipe cards, whatever kind you want, um, dividers and everything, and present the apron and the recipe book that she will use and she will build upon throughout her, from then until she you know, leaves your home. Um, present them to her at the special picnic or tea party and just make it a big, you know, a big deal, like real fancy and proper and just, you know, make it real special. Um, Anyway, that's about as far as I got in reading the teacher planner, but I was like, okay, I'm getting this. It's, it's just, I don't know, we're just excited if you haven't been able to tell yet. Um, I've always taught my girls how to clean and they know how to cook and stuff like that, but I just, we've never really done a formal home ec or life skills, whatever you want to call it, but uh, so I'm kind of eager, eager to see how this goes. So back to this. Here's the family table, and it talks about a tablecloth, um, a centerpiece, tea towels, and more. Here's advanced dinner assignment. There's also some assignments here, too, um, to kind of train the girl to prepare meals and prepare budgeting, how much the meals are going to cost, things like that. Here's the company dinner recipe, so they give you some recipes here. How to use a recipe. Over here it talks about um, doubling it or downsizing it. And here's an assignment. Here's another assignment. Skills for monthly cleaning are on both pages here. Skills for seasonal cleaning are on both pages. 
And here's a little note or or a saying or something. I haven't read it. Um, skills for yearly cleaning are on both pages. And down here it says no-nos. These are no-nos for cooks. Never pick up any food off the floor and then serve it. it. You know, it talks more. Never put any greasy liquids down the kitchen sink. And it's, it talks more. Never cut raw meat on a cutting board, then use it without washing to cut other items like onions and such. And, you know, there's more stuff here. So, it's just, it's just really good and thorough. Family table courtesies. Here's basic cookery. So down here is a is a cooking skills checklist. So once she's learned how to boil eggs, you check it off. Cook rice, make coffee and tea, and then more stuff down here. There's even a section where you can add your own that you want her to learn if it's not listed. Here are a mix and match terms. So your child should learn the term the terms bake, beat, blanch, blend, boil, brown, chill. Both of these list here, and then match them to the appropriate definition. Here is some kitchen safety and more recipe cards and dividers, notes from Mother Dear. Here's some uh, recipes. Now it's on to the living rooms. Another skills checklist, cleaning checklist, skills for daily cleaning, skills for weekly cleaning, how to dust, the furnishings. And over here it talks about how to make an accent pillow cover. Skills to for seasonal cleaning are on both pages. I mean, it it really tells you, like it really goes through the things, like even down to sorting through bookshelves. Uh, more skills for seasonal cleaning, like changing out your decorations for spring, summer, autumn, and winter. I don't know about you. I don't decorate for the seasons. We decorate for Christmas and fall. That's it. But you know, back in times past, they it. It was kind of proper, and, you know, they did. I don't, but my daughter wants to, and so so this is just something she's really looking forward to. Um, yearly cleaning, like repotting houseplants, courtesies for company and games, another list to the child. Here's pantry, pantry checklist. The pantry is a really, it's a neat one. Um, it talks about what is a pantry and kind of like the history of the pantry it's on both pages. How to start a pantry. How to use your pantry. Where you should place a pantry. How to organize it. And this one here is over stocked pantry cupboards. They have dry goods, canned goods, bottles and jars, spices and seasonings, boxed and bagged food goods. Here they give you a list of emergency essentials. So some emergency essentials would be, you know, flashlight, tacks, candles, rope, screwdriver, and more. Personal essentials, food essentials. And this section, you know, I mean, we all basically know this, but it's just neat to have it written down. It, it is. So this is a, a paragraph for each month of the year. And it starts from March, starts at March and ends in February on the next page. So this talks about the pantry throughout the year. So it tells you for each month what kind of sales to look for in order to stock up and save money. Um, in May, it talks about planting a garden and kind of tells you, um, you know, that you can plan on canning or freezing tomatoes, beans, peas, squash. Anyway, it talks more. April, it says to look for ham being on sale because of Easter, you know, so, you know, things like this, it kind of guides the, the child into looking for, you know, at certain seasons or certain months, there, there will be sales so they can save money and stock up, you know, stock up their pantry. So April has hams on sale. Um says July is canning season. It's just, I mean, I can't go into all this, but like December, it says over here for December that it's when um, holiday baking things go on sale, so stock up on that. It says November is when turkeys go on sale. Anyway, it's just good information. And that talks about the Ball Blue Book. 
talks about how to make beef stock, poultry stock, vegetable stock, vegetable powder, and beans. And here, my, my pantry, I guess the child would list um, things that they have in their pantry. Then another one is on hospitality. So another skills checklist. What the Bible says about hospitality. Here's menus, meals, and guests. And here's some samples of it. You know, some different things you could offer your guests for breakfast, brunch, lunch, take it, supper, or tea and snack time. I don't know if you can see this one or not. I printed, I printed all of this in fast draft, so that's why the ink looks um, a little faded. I mean, I can read it just fine, but I don't know how it's showing up on the camera. Um, so anyway, this here would be a company menu planner. And here is the attitude of hospitality, humility, cleanliness, service, generosity, gratitude, and focus. Special days, special day planner, some games and songs. And here's a planner worksheet. Here's the planning worksheet. Hospitality in practice, consider your guests. Here's another one of those recipe um, templates you can use to write your recipes on. Advice regarding advice regarding the unexpected guest. That might be a pretty good article. Here's on bedrooms. So another letter, another instruction letter. Checklist, cleaning chart, skills for daily cleaning on both pages here. Dust, go to sleep, <laughs> um, skills on weekly cleaning, skills on monthly cleaning, seasonal cleaning, talks about rotating your mattress, vacuuming under all furniture, um, vacuuming your mattress. Here are some stitching projects. And this is another one my oldest is really looking forward to. She likes to embroider but she says that she doesn't think she's good at it. She is, but she's not happy with it. So she's looking forward to this section. And it talks about how to use an embroidery hoop, embroidery floss, threading your needle, learning the stitches like outline stitch, lazy daisy, satin stitch, cross stitch, French knot, and a back stitch. How to finish it. Here are some uh, embroidery templates. Free to trace. Another one. Then you have one on closets. Skills checklist. Some more old fashioned ads. Cleaning schedule chart. This talks about what's in your closet and how to organize it. How to fold your clothes. How to organize your shoes. How to organize your games and puzzles and some containers. Um, craft items more craft items and here it talks about the hope chest and I'm excited about getting a hope chest for my girls when they get a little older here are some closet divider tabs and the last one is for yards and porches checklist cleaning chart talks about flowers um, how to plan your yard you need a play area for children Will there be a flower garden? Will there be fruit trees or shrubs? What about wildlife? Outdoor centerpiece? And when I turned to this page and my oldest was looking at this, she was big time excited because she's already seen these before. Okay, sorry about that. The phone rang. Not quite sure exactly where I was at, so I will just pick up where I think I was at. So in my daughter saw these pages she was very excited because she's already seen these before um, this is landscape sketches so it kind of tells you gives you an idea anyway of like what kind of plants or flowers you'd want to plant um, like next to what other flowers like here's herbs in a wash pot here's a fence or a picket fence cosmos and zinnias daylilies you know I'm not going to go through all of it but how to make a beautiful little flower garden so, and she has seen this in this book, 
My Garden, My Garden Diary of Flowers and Herbs by Mrs. Martha Green. And if you remember, Martha Green had helped compile this. And we also got this off of Homeschool Freebie of the Day as well. Um, anyway, this one is a wonderful resource you should you should check out. It's really neat. And uh, they have sketches like that in here too. So. Okay. So here are some skills for daily cleaning. And skills for weekly cleaning, which this is all outside stuff. Big Brother Builds a Birdhouse. Skills for monthly cleaning, decorations. And back here, seasonal cleaning and yearly cleaning. And then the last three pages, it says Home Skills Master Schedule. And this was pretty neat. Um, this page is all daily cleaning things you should do for each room. You have bathroom, kitchen, living room, bedrooms, closets, and yards and porches. Just things to check through every single day. And yeah, it looks like a lot, but you know, it's, I mean, it's not. Um, it's things we do anyway. But, anyway, so here's your daily thing for your whole house, in and, inside and out. And then here is the same stuff, but it's weekly for your whole house, inside and out. And then you have monthly for every room, inside and out. And then seasonally, so for each season, things to do. And then also for yearly, things to do. And that is the end of the one for the child. And now I will go show you through the one for the parent, which is called a study guide. Okay, so I have not printed off the one for the parent. Um, I don't know if you can see this or not, but there are 215 pages. I'm not going to print it off. I'm going to try to just pull up each section um, as I need it and just, you know, read through it that way. But um, this is the Home Skills Lesson Guide. It's a companion to the Girl's Guide to Home Skills. And it covers 44 weeks. You can use it for families, for homeschool groups, things like that. Okay. So, here's just some information. Sorry, I'm holding the camera so shaky. I am really shaking. Well, I'm not. It just looks like I am. Okay. So, here's the table of contents. It gives you a few words first. Introductory lesson. Welcome to the sisterhood. Which, that is the one I was talking about um, with the apron and the recipe binder and that stuff and the special party. So this is just some information that's really good. And here is the, you know, the introductory lesson. So here it talks about, you know, an apron that will appeal to your daughter may be pretty fun or quirky with at least two pockets. And, you know, I'm not going to read all this. So it tells you, um, you know, to may maybe get a special hook for your daughter to wear her apron, gift wrap it. Um, anyway, some activities to do with her, like the tea party or the picnic, a clock, I don't know, I'm not going to read all this, but all of this is just for the introdu introductory lesson. Um, it talks about setting up her home skills notebook, which I think that's what I just showed you. Um, Let's go down here. Tells you things you'll need. Okay, so this, in the, that's highlighted in yellow, this tells you it's called the Super Skills Formula, which is how to teach a skill like a pro. So it says that um, your daughter will master each new skill she learns if you follow these five steps. If you show her how to do it, explaining each step, and it, it says more stuff, if you have her tell you how to do it, recalling each step, but you're still the hands. Step three, have her demonstrate the skill, teaching you step, oh, teaching you each step before she does it. 
Step 4. Have her demonstrate the skill without prompts until she can perform the new skill with excellence. And Step 5. Have her teach the material back to you or teach it to another child using the same four steps. And then here is the actual first lesson that she would have in her book, um, Lesson Guide for Bathrooms. So here it gives you an overview of what's going to be taught in the bathroom lesson, some objectives, the materials that you'll need, um, preparation. It says you'll need to do this the night before, and they highlighted it for you. So these are some things you'll need to do the night before. It's just one, two, three, four, five, six things. And here are some activities. So here it says mom. So this is what you would say. It says um, give her a hug. And it talks about making your own disinfecting wipes. Now, of course, you, know, you don't have to do this. Um, it's just out there. So um, mom here says, one of the ways I make money for our family is by keeping our living costs very low. Money I save is worth more than money I make because we don't pay taxes on how much we save. Today we're going to make our own wipes, so you'll have a supply to use when you wipe down the sink and toilet seat each day. So kind of with your daughter, you know, this is what you do. Step one, two, three, four, and five. And here's some more of things that you do for the day. This is your lesson plans. And here is on your own. Here's a note to mom. And this is lesson two for clean bathrooms. So this would be learning the bath systems in preparation for emergencies. And once again, it gives you the overview, objectives and materials you need, what to prepare, a review activity. And then it goes you know, into the lesson. And yes, I know it, it's kind of long. Lesson three is still in the bathrooms, but, but it tells you how to care for the sink and tub. Okay, but you get the idea, so I'm not going to go through 215 pages. I'm on page 45 right now. But anyway, so. Um, if it sounds the least bit interesting to you, check it out. Um, maybe subscribe to Homeschool Freebie of the Day. Um, you might even be able to email them and ask them if they know of any upcoming sales um, that they're going to have on this, on these two items, in order to save some money. But I, it does look a bit overwhelming, especially for something you can teach your child anyway. But it just, there's a lot more to it. Um, things you probably wouldn't even think of teaching your child because of the times and stuff. Um, but anyway, just check into it. And thanks for watching.